faculty who are done with college and work today are going to um, estimate corn yields. And there are several reasons why you might want to have an idea of what your corn yield would be. One is if you're selling grain and you want to know how much you have to sell before you harvest. And the other is to see um, if you have enough grain storage, if you put it in a grain bin, do I have enough storage for the corn I'm going to raise this year? First thing you need to do is to measure your row width of the corn. And in this case, it's 40 inches. You need that information to um, determine your sample area for estimating your yield. Okay, let's do some math. Now we know that one acre is 43,560 square feet. Consequently, one one-thousandth of an acre will be 43.560 square feet. So, if we can imagine a long, thin rectangle that contains our one row of corn, we can see that that rectangle would be 40 inches wide and it would be of an unknown length. Now the area of a rectangle is known to be length multiplied by the width. Now since we have an area of 43.560 and a width of our rectangle of 40 inches, which we could express as 40 twelfths of a foot because there are 12 inches in every foot, this would give us a length then of 43.560 times 12 fortieths because you may remember that to divide by a fraction you multiply by that fraction's reciprocal. Therefore, the length of our sample corn row is going to be 13.068 feet. On your calculator, you get that by taking the 43.560, multiplying by 12, and dividing by 40. Now let's talk a little bit about this 13.068 feet. Now we can see for sure that we have 13 feet, but then we have a small decimal amount left over. That decimal portion of a foot also needs to be converted to inches. And since there are 12 inches in one foot, we will multiply 0 .068 times 12 this gives us the value of 0 0.816 inches. The 0 0.816 inches then we will round to the nearest inch and so we have a total length of 13 feet 1 inch for our sample row. This will give us the length of the row that we need to analyze to get 1 1 thousandth of an acre. Now after Pam made the counts of the number of rows around each of her sample ears, and she counted down a typical row of kernels for each of those ears, she built up the following data table. Now this table over here shows the number of rows of corn around each of the five ears in her sample, and in this section of the table here, she has recorded then the typical kernel length or the number of kernels in a particular 
row of that corn. Over on this side, too, we've made a note that there were 26 ears of corn in her sample row, which you may recall was 13 feet 1 inches long and represents the amount of corn that is in one one thousandth of an acre. Now, by adding in the first column the number of, of uh, rows in each ear, adding those up and dividing by 5, we come up with the average number of rows for all of our ears, and we'll round this to the nearest row. Over here we will take these five values for the number of kernels down a row and we will add those up and divide by five calculating an average for those number of kernels. This will give us the typical ear of corn for that entire sample. A little multiplication then gives us the total number of kernels per average then on each ear of corn. So 17 times 29, 493 kernels of corn on our typical ear. Okay, let's put it all together now. We'll set this up as a series of fractions as we do for all units conversions. Now our first fraction is going to show that we had 26 ears in one one thousandth of an acre. We're going to multiply that then in such a way that the ears will cancel. We'll multiply by 493 kernels in one ear. Cancel, cancel. We will multiply that fraction then times one bushel is 90,000 kernels, and notice that we set that up in such a way that the kernels cancels, leaving us only bushels on the top of the fraction, acres on the bottom of the fraction, and so our answer is going to come out in bushels per acre. Now, if you have your calculator, punch along with me on this particular problem, and we will start out by entering the number 26. We will divide that by 0 .001, we will multiply by 493, divide by 1, multiply by 1, which of course doesn't change anything, and then lastly we will divide by 90,000 kernels. When you hit equals, you should get the answer that I got of 142.42222, which repeats on forever, so we will round this then to the nearest tenth, and we will have our answer to be 142.4 bushels per acre. This is David Rigsby, Math Department Chair at John Wood Community College.